Welcome back to What Are Noobs for Channel Disturbance. This is a AMX 1375, it's a tier 7 French light tank. It's located on the south spawn of Prokhorovka Encounter and it's under the command of Shits and Giggles. What a name that one is. Okay, he's got the 75mm autoloader. It's an interesting tank, this one. I think if I actually had a choice of which tank I'd like to have, my own personal jalopy to run around town, it'd be one of these actually. And in fact, I do know that there's somebody in What Arty Noobs who actually has one. Yep. It's an interesting tank. I do, I, as I said, engines up front alongside the driver. A gun is an oscillating turret with an autoloader. And in the game, it's only got a four shot autoloader. In reality, it's actually got more. 75 millimeter we'll do 135 alpha for me shot in fact actually no it's 110 sorry back in this iteration and penetrates 188 108 millimeters of armor and it'll go through 148 with the APCR to reload normally takes around about 14 seconds so it's fairly good in terms of um, the DPM it's a it's a step up from the AMX 12 ton, but it is basically the 13 ton tank, and this was the first iteration of that tank. Okay, Tiger P spotted ahead. Now, as he's a light tank, he is supposed to spot the enemy, find out where they are. The enemy apparently is in the cap, or was for a brief moment. Ouch, it was seen by the FP4202. Fired one round in that direction towards the uh, Super Hellcat, or. Well, I believe the Super Hellcat was. And he's pulling back by weaving. Took one hell of a clout from that FP4202, trying to look where the shell went in. Can't see it. Now, Shits and Giggles is trying to complete the LT-415 mission to get the T-28 HTC. So he's got to get at least 4,000 damage on the enemy. I think if I look at the mission stats, uh, damage caused and assistance. Must be, or damage caused, including damage caused with assistance. So he's got to get a combined total of 4,000. That's going to take some doing. He's only got 800 so far, but that's a good start. He's really got to go some if he wants to get this mission completed. Okay, he's gone up onto the west side. He's got a long view range and he's got binos, which means he can spot for quite some distance. He's taking a risk moving up like this, but if you want to get the spots, you're going to have to. He's got good bushes here that he can hide behind. Now, will he be able to see these guys? Is binos engaged? Yes. Okay, let's have a look and see what's there. Nothing yet. If he does get spotted, he'll have to dash for the road as quickly as he can. Always oh, found one. A Revel say And he's aimed on, but he's actually spotting for his team. Requesting fires. Found another. The Oni. This is his job spot the enemy and he's picked up one and a half K of damage already he's doing a good job here it's exactly what he's supposed to do look at all the shots hitting those tanks he's up to 2k already he's not going to shoot unless he absolutely has to Still only 2,100. He needs 4,000 to get that mission complete. He's desperate to complete the mission. And that's why he's moving up. Bit dangerous though. He's locked on to that Revel Arise, but will he get spotted? Pull back. Well, he's using the bush mechanic on the Revel Arise. Fires two rounds in. He's picked up 100 hit points. Let's go for 243 there. He's now got 2,845 spotting assists and 210 actual damage by him. I 
think all the nearest enemy have been wiped out. Oh, spotted a bat chat. Now, would he get spotted himself? Bat chat's in the bush. Oh, bat chat goes down. That's a thousand. He's now up to three, eight, four, five. He's almost completed his mission. According to this, he has completed his mission because combined is now over four thousand. He's just got to win the game in order to survive. Oh, move, move, move. The FV4202 has found you. He needs to get out of here if he's going to survive the battle. He's got a patrol GT for that. But unfortunately, he doesn't survive this game. But if his team can win it, then he'll win the um, LT15. I think he just pushed a bit too far forward towards the end. He was he was spotting for his team very well from where he was, but he just pushed too far. His team are two down at the moment, but that's not really a big worry at this stage in an encounter battle. I think we might have a look and see what's actually going on over by the cap. Well, we can see his teammates are actually uh, shooting up at the hill. The enemy's only got one enemy in the uh, one tank in the cap at the moment, which is not a big deal. It is, after all, encounter, and it does take rather long to cap out. Well, that's good. They've just got another kill, and the scores are getting more even. Panther's decided, I think, he's going to go into the cap and do something about it. Or is he? Let's hope so. Okay, that stops the cap from increasing. Enemy STA seen up on the hill. guys up on the hill are still spotting for us but they're not pushing on the cap at all they can't see whoever's in the cap because um oh actually no we are capturing now so whoever was in the cap has actually pulled out and that might have been the su-130 pm There's no RT in this game, which means that the Panther can sit there quite happily. And the only thing he's got to worry about is that the enemy might go up onto the hill and try and shoot him from over there. But the Super Hellcat will see them if they do. There's the Star 1. And he's start starting to take some damage. We've now got two in the cap. But it's cap locked, which means that somebody else is in the cap at the moment with us. And it's probably that SU-130PM. Yes, he is over there. And he's actually pulled back out the cap again. And he's being clobbered. And he's gone. The panther got him. Unfortunately, the start one managed to get the panther. This is going their way now. Now they've got an Indian panzer up on the hill. His gun's going to be able to do some serious damage to any of the enemy who tries to get near the cap. And it looks like the enemy team over on the west side of the map have decided not to actually move over this side. Except, of course, that T-25-2 has been seen to the south and he's being fired upon.
Oh, I think that might have been a mistake by the CDC to come out of the cap. Yes, he's being fired on as well. Yes, you're much better off staying in the cap, forcing the issue. T25-2 goes down. CDC took some damage, though. There's a Super Hellcat to the south. He's gone. Only three enemies left now. I think they can leave just one in the cap to continue the cap and now go after the enemy. We've got an FV4202 over there. They just took out the Oni. The FV4202, that's the guy who uh, badly damaged shits and giggles. But there's a Barask over there as well. He's got, there goes the FP4202. Brask is next. Sorry for the jerky nature of the replay there. And there goes the Brask. And it's a victory. And that means he's completed all of LT15 for the T28. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's the second class tanker for shits and giggles in the AMX 1375. He got a spotter badge for spotting at least a thousand hit points of damage. And he also picked up a patrol duty for being the only one spotting at least six enemy tanks whilst they were damaged. Very well done indeed on that. If you look at the team score, we can see that when it came to damage, it was actually the CDC who did the best with 4,033. And then the Scorpion with 3,015, followed by the Indian Panzer with 2,788. Shits and Giggles only got 210 hit points of damage during that game, but he's not worried about that. It was the spotting he was after. When it came to kills, it was the CDC and the Lerva managed to get four kills each. And then there's two kills for the Indian Panzer, the Panther and the SDA-1 on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, it was the CDC again with 1,399. But you can see Shits and Giggles was second with 943. And that's because of all the spotting he did. And 834 went to the Scorpion. Shits and Giggles... Only fired seven rounds in the game, got three direct hits, two penetration, 210 hit points of damage, of which 110 were at more than 300 meters. Received four hits from the enemy, three of them were penetrations, one as a result of splash damage. Uh, spotted five enemy vehicles damaged, two of the enemy didn't get any kills, but got 5,177 hit points of stun assist, stun assist? Damage assistance by spotting the enemy. Actually, it's spotting assist, isn't it? Um, <laughs> on a premium account, he earned 30,970 credit credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, took away 38,498 credits. He got 943 on the XP, 7,075 for mission completion, or personal missions payout, actually, and took away 8,490. So, yes... As he said, he finally completed LT-15 for the T-28 and he wanted this so bad and he did it very well, except, of course, he got killed in the process. The one other thing I would say to Shits and Gilgus is, if you do get killed, shift over to the next tank on your team. Stay in the game and that way we can carry on with the replay, watching the action from the eyes of one of your other teammates. Of course, I can take command of the free camera and do what I did and just follow the battle that way but uh, it's much more interesting if you follow one of your teammates in the actual action um, but other than that congratulations on getting LT15 completed if you enjoyed that replay please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel please and thanks for watching